Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends video. For this one, we'll be taking a look at the reveal page for Pike. And my goodness, does the page look absolutely just wonderful. Looks fantastic. The art is just amazing. So, as per usual, we'll be going over the abilities. I'll give you guys my thoughts on them. I'll give you any potential synergies I can think of and how maybe the kit can work overall together and all that good stuff. So, if you enjoyed the video and if you're hyped for the release of Pike, then make sure to hit that like button on the video. But let's get this party started. So, let's take a quick look at this. Abandoned by his crew to the Leviathans of the Deep, Pike drowned but didn't stay dead. Years later, a fabled revenant known as the Blood Harbor River, which is his title, uh, still stalks the slaughter dogs, crossing names off of a list that never seems to end. Wait, you look familiar. Kind of like from his teaser at the very end. Anyways, let's take a look at this passive, passive gift of the drowned ones. When Pike is unseen by enemies, he rapidly regenerates some of the health recently lost to enemy champions. I actually don't even remember this at all from when I've seen, when I saw Pike at the PB, uh, at Riot Games. I actually, I, I legitimately forgot like over half his kit. But let's see what this it does exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming there's not a lot of, of visual effects on this. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like Tom Ketch's passive. Or like his E or whatever. Dude, that's... That's that's actually pretty powerful, man. That that's that's some powerful stuff. That makes wait, that actually makes his jungling wait. Oh, two champions. Okay, recently lost two champions. Okay, I was gonna say he just re regenerates all of his HP, but it's only two champions. I was gonna say, because if that's just the damage he's taken overall, then that's his jungling is completely broken, but okay, that's fine. That makes sense. Let's see what this is exactly. His skew will be bone skewer. Tap. Pike stabs and greatly slows all enemies in front of him. Hold. He readies and then throws his harpoon, impaling the first enemy struck and pulling them a fixed distance towards him. Okay, alright, let's see how this looks like. Ooh. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Oh, damn. That's actually a pretty big pull. I actually, I do remember the pull from the from Riot when I played him, but I don't remember the, the tap where it does the damage in front of him. I don't remember that at all. So just check out his W, Ghost Water Dive. Pike dives into spectral waters, entering camouflage and gaining a significant increase to his movement speed that decays over a few seconds. Camouflage hides Pike from a view while enemies remain outside his immediate area. Attacking or casting spells immediately ends the camouflage. Alright, let's see this. Oh, Jesus. Dude, that looks really cool. I thought he would go underground, but he doesn't. I really thought he would go like underground or something like that, like he did in the teaser, but I guess he just kind of goes into this really cool stealth looking animation. Into special water and gains them oh, move speed dedicates over time. Damn, that's that looks really, really cool. Okay, so he essentially has a stealth, just like a regular stealth ability, which is pretty damn sweet, but he gets increased his movement speed. So you can like use that, and I'm I, I think that actually synergizes with his passive because he is unseen to enemy champions. So you can do a lot of damage. I don't know what the cooldown is, but you can maybe start with this, you know, do your damage, take the damage from enemy champions, and then if this is off cooldown already, you can activate it again, and you can just simply regain a lot of the HP, which actually sounds pretty damn good. Anyways, his E ability, Phantom Undertow. Pike dashes, leaving behind a drowned Phantom. After a, after a delay, the Phantom returns to Pike, damaging and stunning enemies it passes through. I don't remember this at all either. This, this seems like a completely new ability. Holy shit, that seems broken, hello? What the hell? Wait, so how would you? Okay, how what would the synergy be with that? I mean, you can you, you can use his W, I guess, for that maybe. Maybe you can E and then you can W because you get the increased movement speed from the W, and then that can synergize between the two, and you can move like you know you can place yourself a little bit better and actually make sure it lands. I wonder how much damage this actually does though. This it seems really damn good, but I'm really curious to see the damage it does. His ultimate death from below. Pike strikes an X shaped area, blinking to. An Boy, he, wait, he blinks to the champions and executing them below a certain flat amount of health. Enemies in that X are not exe oh that are not executed take damage equal to this amount. When a champion dies to the, in the X, the last ally to assist also gains full kill and gold credits, which is what makes him I guess a support champion. Boy, that's busted as hell. And Pike can instantly use death from below again for a short period of time. What the hell? That's actually disgusting. Holy fuck. <laughs> Wait, that's so. That's okay. That's that's actually kind of like legitimately broken. If you're below percent HP, like you're just dead, and you can just recast it. It's like a reset. And the last person to get an, an ally, or last ally to get an assist, also gains full gold. I'm assuming it's only one ally, the most recent one, right? I think. What if like multiple allies get an assist? That's what I wonder. Wait, that's broken as hell. That is actually just the most broken ultimate I've ever seen in my entire life. What, what? I'll just. I'm just gonna play in mid lane. Why would I play in support? Okay. Oh, he misses the ult. Wait, no, he got the ult. 
It looks like the old Dinalan. Okay, let's take a look at that one more time, right? So E's forward, uses or W's, W's forward, E's, gets the stun off, uses his Q ability as well, auto attacks him a bit, gets him low enough, pops the ultimate, and gets the kill. Now his ultimate is ready to go again, but he's just gonna run away. Regenerate the HP with his passive. Now here he pops the W, running towards the Jarvan again, using the E to go forward with the dash, gets the stun off, uses the Q, doesn't get the range on it, so you know he pulls him back, but he gets the melee Q instead with the follow-up and now the ultimate and gets the kill as well. Pretty powerful stuff, actually. Okay, Jesus. Wait, there's more. Playing with Pike. Okay, let's see what happens here. So this is an example of him playing as a support. Activates his W, looking for the... Uh, wait, that last... Wait, how long did that last for? Uses the E, flashes forward, gets a double stun, I think? Or maybe just a Sona? Does a bunch of damage, uses the Q for extra damage as well, and... Wait, his W lasts insanely long. He's actually stealth for a very generous amount of time. W, E's forward, gets the stun, auto-attack Q, auto-attack. Pulls him back with the... Oh, that wasn't a Q. Oh, I don't know what he did there then, but he pulls him back with the Q instead. Sees the Lucian. See what he does here. Okay, he doesn't actually fight the Lucian. Wait a minute. This guy seems beyond broken. Hello? Let's see the skins, though. Oh, ooh, this skin looks cool. Wait, that skin looks really cool. Okay, all right, guys. Well, there you have it. I mean, the Pike reveal is here. I hope you're excited. I know I'm excited. Once he goes on the PBE server, which should be tomorrow, I will have some gameplay of, of course, of Pike playing him support, you know, mid lane, assassin -y and all that stuff. And I'm I'm honestly really excited. This guy looks like a lot of fun. So, yeah, if you guys are excited, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace, peace.